Wow, this place goes on forever. Lots of spots to hide a professor. Guess I'll just have to check each and every room. Nothing about this makes any sense. What's going on here?
Where did that girl go? visitor I heard about. Enjoying the view? Hmm? What is this place? What'd you do to the professor? <laughs> Who are you? Your expression. It's priceless. I love the look of fear in your eyes. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you doing this? <laughs> You're such an idiot. Let me spell it out for you. You're gonna die. What? Living ring! Yeah! Alright! Demon fist! Demon fist! Yeah! Now! Stop! Living ring! Stop! Yeah, now! Stop! Yeah, now! Stop! All right! You have to be kidding me! I did it! I won't let anyone down! Bet you weren't planning to die today, boy. But I don't want to die. There has to be a way. Oh, quit trying to act calm. It's that girl. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're the visitor I heard about. This guy's no fun. I'll kill you first! <laughs> Run! I'll rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! <laughs> You are correct, the Lord of Fire. I can't believe you were able to summon him. That wasn't too bad. So this is experience. Whoa. I told you to go home. Don't tell me you live here. No, of course not. I'm sorry. Uh, uh... Is this the work of the Spyrex? The what -ix? Could it be connected to the disappearance of the lesser spirits? Huh? You're losing me. Disappearing spirits? You really need to go home. Someone might not swoop to your rescue next time you're in trouble. The Spyrex must be somewhere else. Hey, wait! I'm kinda trapped here. If the professor were with me, they might have let me leave, but... 
Can I come with you? <laughs> I see. If you stick with the person who saved you, then you won't need any more saving. Clever boy. Boy? You don't look that much older than me. My name is Jude Mathis. I'm Mila. Mila Maxwell. My hands are still shaking. And for good reason. You were almost killed. I'm a civilian. Why would she attack me like that? I don't think she's part of Rashigal's army. If she's not a soldier, then what is she doing at a military facility? An ironic question for you or I to ask, don't you think? I see your point. Did you... did you kill her? I'm not sure. I tried to go easy on her, but humans are so fragile. I keep having to tell the Four not to overdo it. I'm not really following you. Are you finished here? Huh? I assume you had some reason for coming to this place. I was worried because Professor House hadn't come back. But he's... One of the people who died while connected to that machine? Yeah. I can't believe it. The Professor had been so excited about the request from Orda Palace. I see. Hmm? Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Huh? Oh, wait for me! Hmm? What's going on? Our Lilium orbs are shining. I've been wondering what this thing is since I set off. My handmaid told me I had to carry it with me. Well, it comes in handy if you face monsters. It gives you the power to fight them. I got one myself when I left home, just in case.
So, that's how it works. This is actually my first time developing it, too. I see. So it's a tool that taps into inherent abilities. I imagine that powerless humans never leave home without them. You talk as if you're not human yourself. Mila Maxwell? It must be pretty weird having the same name as the Lord of Spirits. Not at all. We are one and the same. I'm sorry? I am Maxwell, Lord of Spirits. What? Come on, you're totally human. You... look just like a normal woman. I would hope so. That is the form I created for myself. The form you created? So you're that, Maxwell. Lord of Spirits, ruler of elements. You don't believe me? A person claiming to be a spirit? It's a bit much to swallow. Then how do you humans prove your identities to each other? Well, by showing identification, I guess. I have a medical school ID card. Oh. Then I doubt that I'll be able to prove my identity to your satisfaction. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to apply for a spirit ID card. Is it really okay for me to be following this person?
Too easy. I don't recognize any of these landmarks. Am I lost? Too 
I always wanted to live up to Professor House's expectations, but now he's dead. Hmm. What? What are you doing? I'm cuddling you. Uh, why? I read it in a book. When humans are upset, they feel better when you cuddle them. What book was that? A mother's eyes, a mother's touch. That sounds like a book about child rearing. I'm not a baby. This technique has no effect on you? Humans are so complicated. <laughs> well, I guess I do feel a little better. Thank you. Hmm? So it does work. Wait, doesn't this lead deeper inside? We're not heading to the exit? No. There's something seriously wrong here. Shouldn't we get out? I'm aware of the danger, but there's something I must find. I'm afraid I can't escort you out before then. Sure. After all, I was the one who asked to go with you. <laughs> What's so funny? It's nothing. When my business here is done, I promise to see you safely out of here. There's no need to worry. Thanks. rings true. Thank you. 